Hello, hello everyone. In celebration of Halloween coming up soon, today I'm going to share with you the story of the creepiest private ballroom dance lesson I have ever taught. So you might get a kick out of this. And actually there's two separate stories and I'll share these right now. First of all, so I had a, a local pro dancer book a private lesson with me to learn quick step. He wanted to be able to teach quick step and a showpiece to one of his students. So you may not know, as a professional dancer, people don't necessarily know how to ballroom dance. But as a pro dancer, you get requests for all sorts of styles of dance. I've had people call for hip hop, Irish, tap, you name it. Um, and many of us do teach multiple styles, um, but no dancer knows every single style, not um, certainly to the ability that we can teach it to someone else. And even if you're a ballroom dancer, especially a low level, mid-level, social level ballroom dance teacher, you probably don't know how to teach all of the styles to a level where someone can be really competent. Um, and finally, you know, I even have pros take with me currently who are ISTD certified, meaning they've taken the um, ISTD exam to be certified to teach international standard. But just because you know something that you can recite it from a textbook, well, here's the angle, here's the heel and toe, it doesn't mean you can certainly teach that to a competitive level. Um, and so they take lessons with me to learn how to teach that better. Anyway, this very exp experienced, well-known local pro um, in his 50s came to me for a private quick step lesson. Um, he shows up. Uh, I turn around to um, cue up the music in the computerized DJ system. And I turn back around and um, he has removed his shirt. He's just wearing like this tiny tank top underneath. And he is straight up dropping trow like what what is going on here <laughs> um and uh he takes his pants completely off and i, I do a double take um, <laughs> and he is straight up standing there richard simmons style <laughs> waiting for me to come up to him in his micro mini fluorescent silky 80s tail shorts and his wife beat her top. I was just gobsmacked. Now, if that would have happened this day and age, guys, um, I'm a little more experienced. At that time, I was very inexperienced. I was just ruffled and I just took frame and I danced my 45 minutes with him all nestled up with him between my legs and his goods up in my business. But these days I wouldn't do that. Um, so there is kind of a socially acceptable, I'll say dress code, when we show up to a private ballroom dance lesson um, where we tend to have our underarms covered. We tend to have our legs covered. Certainly our upper nether regions of our crotch area fully covered. Um, and it was just to this day, I look back and I cannot help but chuckle thinking about this. Um, for the record, he, he did attempt to rebook and I did refer him to someone else because there are pro ballroom dancers out there that um, don't, mm, how do I describe this? Um, I've seen some lady pros who use their sexuality to sell their ballroom dance lessons. So it's for them, it's not about the skill. As I've had one person, lady pro, express it to me. He wants to have my, you know, what pushed up against him. That is not my jam. I am all about the dancing and the technique and being professional, but those people do exist. And I'm happy to refer you to that person if that's your jam. So that was absolutely the creepiest lesson I have ever taught. Okay, number two creepy lesson, and this has happened several times. Um, you know, people often find me online this day and age, um, like we all do, um, which means if someone wanted to, they could uh, 
internet stalk you. They can look up your pictures. They can look up everything about you. And when they show up to that private lesson, you don't really know who to expect. I don't know what I'm expecting at all, but they certainly know what they've signed up for. Um, and I've had a number of times where single men have shown up um, and they have straight up looked like they walked out of the federal pen, like shaved head, big burly men, covered head to toe in tattoos, gang style tattoos on their face. Um, and in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I'm locked in here alone with this man. Is he here to kidnap me? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can do. And that is a little bit scary at first, but I can tell you a hundred percent of the time, um, these guys have been um, they've legitimately weren't, been passionate about learning how to ballroom dance. Very sweet personalities, polite, respectful, attentive students often usually rebook. Um, it's just a little scary when they walk in like that. Um, so that just goes to show you should never judge a book by its cover. Um, so regardless of how you look, it's totally okay to book a ballroom dance class. And honestly, in terms of dress code, um, now that you've heard me share this story, you do know not to show up Richard Simmons style. Um, but for someone's very first ballroom dance lesson, there is absolutely no expectation of what you're going to wear. We assume you don't know. Um, and then as soon as you walk into a ballroom dance studio, you'll see how others are dressed. You'll see how your teacher's dressed and, and you'll know where to go from there. If you're not sure, feel free to email your teacher, potential studio, you know, call ahead of time and ask if you're at all insecure. Though there is no expectation. My only suggestion is you show up with comfortable shoes, like uh, dress shoes, not flip-flops, not thick-soled tennis shoes, because those would be difficult to dance in. So I hope you've enjoyed my creepiest lesson story ever, and I uh, hope you're looking forward to Halloween like I am. Bye, guys.